guys, this is our tips as well as our review of the 2018 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. One recommendation we have is to get this lanyard. You can get this from the festival center and maybe other locations and you have to load that with $250 this which one is, I know yeah. it sounds like a lot but you will go through that so fast Lickety split. and also it's a Disney gift card so you can use it for other things not just food and wine but if you don't want to spend that much to start there is also these wristbands which are super cute and you collect all three of them and you only have to put $15 on each one we're stopping in France. I'm gonna get the La Pasha Martini slush, but we've got like a free concert going on here as well. That's one of Brian's favorites right there, the escargot. And I really enjoy the La Pasha Martini slush. Brian got the escargot and he's had this year after year and loved it. So we'll see how he likes it today. Brian's gonna give it a try, even though it's a weird flaky oh, topping that's supposed There's to be creamy. Smell right there. Still good? Yeah. All right, this is the second time with the La Pasha Martini slush. Good as always, one of my festival favorites. Here's the booth in Brazil. Brazil looks good. We always enjoy the cheese bread here. Here's the booth in Belgium. Here's some pictures of the items that are in Belgium. They look really yummy. All right, Brian's having round two of this, so you know it's his festival favorite. Hey, don't judge me. I'm not judging, but <laughs> it's gotta be good. It is good. Yeah, so okay. which one's your favorite out of this flight? Uh, St. Bernard's APT12. So that one right yeah, there. That's tasty. Yay! Good stuff. Wow, Morocco has some really tasty looking offerings this year. And Brian has had these hummus fries in past years and really enjoyed them. We're gonna stop at the festival shop and look at some of the merchandise. several really good offerings. I think I'm gonna try this beef nigiri and Brian's gonna get the spicy roll. Here's the Japan kiosk. We stopped at the Japan kiosk which is right over there and I got the beef nigiri and Brian got the, what is this, the tuna spicy roll? Yeah, vol volcano, volcano roll. roll. Yeah, and a sake. And a sake. All right, Brian's gonna try the volcano roll. Let's go in there. Oh, wow, that's hot. Really hot? Hot in a good really way. Really good? Yeah, it's good. Nice. All right, I'm gonna try the beef nigiri. This view of the World Showcase from Japan just never gets old. Really amazing. The Hops and Barley booth is in the America Pavilion. Here are the items of Hops and Barley. I don't look like I am. Brian got the lobster roll at Hops and Barley in America, and he also got the was 60 minute IPA. And you like that, right? The IPA. Brian's gonna try that lobster roll. Looks good. 
really good though. You like it? So this year it seems to be warm. Last, I mean, previous year it seemed to be colder, you know? like on Right, the right, chilled, yeah. yeah. This is warm, it seems good. Here's the menu for Italy. The Italy booth is super cute. Cool. The menu for Spain looks really tasty. We had that seafood salad last year, so good. Super cute booth for Spain this year. Here's the Germany booth. And here is the menu in Germany. We're gonna stop at the Brewers Collection, which is near Germany, and Brian's gonna get the beer flight. Brian stopped at the Brewers Collection and got this beer flight. Do you want to try the first one? Sure, what's the first one? Is it got a red thing? Radeberger. I don't know how to say that. Radeberger. <laughs> Pilsner unfiltered. No, like that, that was the last one. That's the pomegranate. That's a Schaffer Hopper. So like, yeah, so he just like drank the last one. Yeah. It tastes like the cider. Just gonna try the middle one. Yeah, middle it's all right. Kind of light tasting. And unfiltered. Yeah, that's, that's the unfiltered Pilsner. Not, not, not bad. bad. Yeah, I like it. Good. Africa's booth looks really cutely themed. Here's some pictures of the yummy items in Africa. The menu in India looks really tasty. They basically have like a mini bread service. Madras red curry, which I have had, is so good, but it's also so spicy. Korma chicken, and also these drink offerings. I'd say the India booth is one of the better themed booths or kiosks of the whole festival. As you saw, we were stopping in India and Brian got the Madras Red Curry. He's gonna give it a try. I had this last year. I loved it, but it was super spicy. Like too hot for me, but he loves spice. Good? Wow, that's really good. All right, that's really good. Trying to have some really tasty offerings this year. Brian's had those black pepper shrimp and he really liked them and I love the Kung Fu Punch. The booth for China is also very well themed. Cheers! First drink of the Food and Wine Festival is of course a Kung Fu Punch. Um, always a favorite of mine and it's good as usual. And check out this gorgeous year. Love, love Epcot. The Mexican kiosk looks really cute. Wow, this picture of the short rib tostada looks tasty as well. It's a shrimp quesadilla. The booth for Thailand is really well themed. Wow, some of these items in Thailand look super tasty. Beautiful view over towards Spaceship Earth. Here's the kiosk for Greece this year. Lots of good options on the Greece menu. We are so glad we got an awesome picture with Daisy this year. We're now going to stop at the Caribbean kiosk. They've got some really yummy looking offerings this year. I love Ripa Vieja, which we've got in an empanada format. Looks really, really good. Mickey is looking amazing with his little grill. So cute for food and wine. Some awesome theming at the Hawaii kiosk. I think Brian's going to try the grilled tuna tataki. Brian got a dish from Hawaii. So what is this, Brian? Real tuna tataki. I don't know what tataki is, but I guess it's the sauce. We're about to find out. Maybe. Oh. Looks good. Mm. You like it? Good. And you said it's a cold dish, right? It is a cold dish. The outside, the tuna does have a little crunch to it. Right from sesame, I guess, or something. Probably. The seaweed salad is really good, too. Hmm. So is that a winner? That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Here's the menu for Australia along with some pictures. I've had the grilled lamb chop which was really good in previous years and also Brian's had the grilled 
sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp, which is also good. Brian's gonna try those yummy bushberry shrimp. First food at the festival. First festival food. All right, let's see how hot it is. Yeah, it's varied year to year. Some years it's hot, some years it's not. Yeah, good stuff. No, not hot this year? Awesome, so I can try it then. Great. This is the New Zealand kiosk, which is close to the front of World Showcase. A closer look at the New Zealand menu. Brian got the mussels from New Zealand. You want to get one a try? That's good. Mm. So good. We love these. We've made them at home, a gluten-free version. So good. This is the booth for Canada. There are a couple of pictures at the Canada booth. I know this beer cheese soup is really popular. It's just that Brian and I can't eat it because of gluten and also because it's not vegetarian. And I love this filet mignon. We stopped in Canada and I got the filet mignon, which is a favorite of mine year after year. Here's Ireland kiosk and here are the items that they have. We stopped at Flavors from Fire and I asked if there was anything that could be made gluten free because nothing's marked gluten friendly. And they told me they got a chef and he said that this, which is the um, chimichurri skirt steak, can be if you leave the corn cake off. He said everything else is gluten free. Brian stopped at Earth Eats and got the Impossible Burger Slider, which is vegan, right? Well, it's, we at least know it's vegetarian for sure. So that's the booth right over there. You want to dig in and give that a try? Looks really tasty. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. No, no, no. no. We'll be back in this area. Because the burger's cold. That doesn't seem right. Well, I think they just made too many. And they're all just sitting. Sitting there. Uh, bummer. Yeah. I don't like it. Oh, too bad. All right, I'll try mine now. Digging in. All right, I'm gonna try this chimichurri skirt steak from Flavors from Fire. Mmm. It's really good. Ironically, they made mine right away, but mine's not warm either. <laughs> not warm food day, but the food tastes really good. It's a good flavor. We're stopping at the chocolate studio now. I'm gonna get the liquid nitro chocolate truffle, which is yummy. There's the liquid nitro doing pretty cool. Here's what the liquid nitro chocolate truffle looks like. And I've had it previous years, it's so good. I'll let you know how it is this year. Brian's stopping at the Wine and Dine studio, and I assume he's going to get the wine and cheese pairing. We shall see. And surprise me, he got the scallop dish. Looks really yummy. Want to try it? Mushroom. Celery root puree. Yum. Try that first. Good. It's good. I'll split this in half so I can savor it. <laughs> Mushrooms really taste good. My God. Mm. Really good. Nice and sweet. Nice. All right, let me try my truffle. All right, here's this liquid nitro truffle, which is melting in this heat. Is it more like pudding now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really good though. Very yummy. I highly recommend this. Here's the light lab, and so. This line has switchbacks, and as you can see, it's pretty empty now, but yep, the, a couple of days ago, it was way out the door, so that would be a long line. Ooh, neat. Sorry, I didn't get film coming into the festival center. Everyone's in here because it started pouring. That's why I couldn't film. This is the line for the mimosa bar. It just goes and goes and goes. I think everyone had the same idea to get out of the rain. We're gonna stop at the craft drafts in the festival center and Brian's gonna get a beer flight. So the mimosa line's still absolutely bonkers, but right here's the craft beer. There's really no line. You waited like, what, two minutes? I mean, it's wide open. yeah, so he got his first beer flight of the festival, woohoo. All right, and it looks like Central 28 Beer Company Waffle. Old City Brewing 1901 Roasted Red Ale and Florida Beer Company Passport Triple Chocolate Milk Stout, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I predict Brian will it's not like. Get that over with. 
tastes like chocolate milk. In a beer format. Yeah, <laughs> What's this one? Is this a coffee you said? I can't remember. You'd have to look at the card. That's the second one that I read. Yeah, coffee. Aww. And then. It's all right. Oh, just all right? So you won't be doing that one again, probably. Flight number one. It's pretty cool. So this place is packed because of the rain. It's just packed, full of people. But they have these nice tables and even places you can sit at this bar that's right behind the craft beer um, area. So I think people can't see it because I couldn't see it because I'm sure Brian saw it. So pretty cool that this is back here. We're in this line here to get our pass holder magnet, which is really cute. It's Mickey with the chef's hat. We got our pass holder magnets. Super cute. We are stopping at the wine area of the festival center and Brian's going to try the red wine flight. Here's the wine area of the festival center. Brian is going to try the seafood cocktail. It's really good. Lots of seafood. There's the line for the annual pass holders. Yesterday, I mean not yesterday, a couple days ago there was a huge line when we got our magnet. No line now. We got our cutting board, so for frame of reference. Yeah, <laughs> it's it. it's very tiny. So this is like a cheese board, I guess. But it's cute and it's free, so can't complain about that. Why not? So thanks for joining us. We had an amazing time at the Food and Wine Festival. Yes, what was did. your favorite item? I'm gonna do two favorite items. The mussels, the green lip mussels, and the scallops from, there's two scallop dishes here. I only had one today, which was at the Wine and Dine? Is that where it was? Yes. Somewhere in the area, yeah. Really good. And I think my favorite item, which doesn't sound original, was the filet mignon from Canada. It was so good this year. Every time I had it, it was super fresh, super good. So thanks for joining us. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure.